European Court decided on payment of compensation by Azerbaijani government for court violations. On February the 23rd, the European Court of Human Rights announced five decisions on applications sent from Azerbaijan. Head of the monitoring group of the European Court of Human Rights, Hadid Agaliev, told Turan that the plaintiffs complained about the injustice of the courts and violation of property rights. The government must pay Rustamzad 12,000 euros for moral damages and 2,500 euros for legal costs and expenses. The European Court of Justice has also made a decision on the case of Emin Bashili and others against Azerbaijan. According to Khalid Agaliev, the ECHR recognized the violation of the applicant's rights and ordered the government to pay 2,700 euros to the first applicants, Emin Bashili and Vusal Yolchev, and 1,600 euros to the second applicants, Meriban Ahmedova and Cheyun Aliyev. All applicants will also be paid 1,000 euros for court costs. In the case of Gubad Beramov and Rajab Imanov versus Azerbaijan, the complaint was related to the refusal to register the Center for Public Initiatives. The court confirmed the violation of the applicants' rights to freedom of association and ordered the government to pay them 4,500 euros in compensation for moral damage and 500 euros for legal costs. In the case of Ena Imranov and Asya Akhmedov versus Azerbaijan, the European court also found a violation of the right to freedom of association. The applicants did not make any financial claims in the case. The European court also ruled in the case of Yasser Agazad and others against Azerbaijan, recognizing the violation of the right to freedom of association. According to the decision, the government must pay 4,500 euros of compensation to the first applicants, Ravshan Kabrili and Yasser Agazad, and 2,000 euros to the second applicants, Fagan Azadov and Yashar Agazad. Applicants must also be paid 1,000 euros for reimbursement of expenses. Yasar Agazad was one of the founders of the organization Assistance to Penitentiary Reforms. The Minister of Justice did not register the organization created in 2011, and local courts recognized the actions of the Ministry of Justice as legitimate. All these court cases were connected with the refusal to register public organizations.